We must fight evil, no matter where, no matter when, and no matter what the cost. You know, it's a damn shame that you can't be here for the ribbon-cutting ceremony tomorrow, Mr. Addington. My PR people are putting on quite a show. Everyone's going to be here, all the networks, all the newspapers, magazines, The Times, Newsweek, Life. Well, that's certainly quite a coup for you, Mr. Falcon. You must have a very persistent PR. The best. Hired them all myself. I'm not too big uh, to admit that the press is coming here for you and not me, Mr. Addington. Uh, that's most generous of you to say that. Uh, you sure you can't stay here through tomorrow? The city will pay for any hotel you want to stay at, all expenses. That's very kind. I'm sorry. I have a plane waiting. Then can I ask one more favor? Not for myself, but a favor for the city. What's that? Fortune magazine is dying to do a cover of you at the site. Fortune? Well, we're building a housing project for the poor, not a new financial center. The magazine says that's what they want. They want to show big business cooperating with the uh, city government. Just might encourage others to do the same. And? <laughs> that's got nothing to do with politics. <laughs> I see. I take it you have a photographer waiting. The, the best. He's at the site. He's very fast. There's a car waiting. The project is on the way to the airport. Here we go. Folks. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thanks. On behalf of the city and the people who will be using these new housing units, I'd like to say thanks to Addington International and to you personally, Mr. Addington, for your generous gift. Without it, we'd still be light years away from making uh, any headway on this project. Uh, Mr. Addington, what made your company decide to bail out this city? <laughs> I made a small contribution to a housing project, that's all. The lion's share, I understand. Could you tell us the exact amount of that contribution made by the Addington Group? I could, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, that's it for now. Thanks. We'll see you at the ribbon cutting ceremony tomorrow. Hey, right? Falcon, won't you tell the press what you're really doing, man? All right, all right, chill, chill. It's cool, man. Name's Clayton. Just another rabble rouser. We got a million of them in this city. I'm the public. You're supposed to be protecting me. On Lone Star Cinema Friday, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson star in Die Hard with a Vengeance Friday. Live better with your diabetes. Diabetes shouldn't mean losing the peace of mind to enjoy the things that make you happy. You may experience peace of mind with the AccuCheck Aviva system, designed to test right the first time because every strip counts. The wide mouth test strip is easy to handle and is specifically designed to fill quickly with just a tiny drop. In fact, 97% of testers fill correctly on the very first try. Plus, the Lansing device has been proven least painful. It uses a drum of six preloaded lancets, which means no lancets to see or handle. Lindsay was first diagnosed with diabetes when she was only eight years old. But with the help of her healthcare team and the use of her AccuCheck products, it has really helped us to control her blood sugars much better. It allows her to live a normal life and to be a normal child and to pursue her dreams of becoming a dancer. In college, I was a competitive runner, and when I was diagnosed with diabetes, I wasn't sure if that's something I could ever do again. And with the products that AccuCheck offers, I'm able to collect that sample and analyze it and act on that. So I don't have to worry about what's going on with my blood glucose as I exercise. Live life the way you want. 
Call or go online now. If you have diabetes, call today and we'll send you a voucher for a free AccuCheck Aviva blood glucose monitor and bonus box of multi-click slancets. Call right now and ask for your voucher. The first 1,000 customers to redeem their voucher will receive a free gift of their choice, a Magic Foods for Better Blood Sugar book or free O insulin wallet, a value up to $49. It's time to live life the way you want. Call 1-800-752-1559 or go online to accucheck.ca slash free offer now. Gentlemen, I'm afraid this is our best angle. Off the car. Get out of here. Get going. Get out of here. Mr. Addington, could you snuggle up with Mr. Falcon there, please, and thank you. A little closer. Hey, you, 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 uh, out of the picture now, please. Go away. Just leave. Looks like we're the entertainment today, huh? Yeah, But you get them the hell out oh, of here. Oh, come on. Please. They're no trouble, are they? Oh, just... <laughs> yeah, they are. It's not good. Just one more shot. Perfect, now don't move. What's the matter with you people? Now just get out of my shot. Now move it. I get my hands on you. Just a moment. You gonna take a picture here? Uh-oh. Here's trouble. And you should make sure it's filled with local color. What are you doing here? You're trespassing. I thought this is supposed to be public property owned by the city. It is, and I represent the city. Climbing as high as you can on the backs of the people, yes, Mr. Mayor. You better get out of here before there's real trouble. Mr. Addington, do you mind if we make this a family picture? I have no objection. You mean all these people are your family? I like to think so, sir. Come on, Mama. Come on in here, baby. Would you like right me to here. call the police? Yeah, yeah, I think you should. No, 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 let's, yeah. let's not turn this into an incident. It already is an incident. This man will do anything for publicity. It's amazing what people will do for publicity, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you so determined to be in this picture, Mr. Clayton? What if I set up a camera in your backyard and then try to chase you away? Look, these are derelict abandoned buildings. They're owned by the city. They're going to be torn down by the city. And where are these people supposed to live? They're not supposed to live here. You know that. It's illegal. Why don't you take your, your family or your friends, why don't you take them down to the social welfare office? They can look after them there. Have you ever stood in line for a shelter voucher, Mr. Deputy Mayor? How about you, Mr. Addington? You want to come stand in line at the welfare office? What is it you want, Mr. Clayton? Fair shake for these people. Come on, I think we better get back to the car. What about the kids who live here? Where are they supposed to go? Take our picture, mister. Picture taking is over, mutt. I'll take it. Hey, look at me, hey, look at me. Away from that. Hey, oh, not to go here, man. <laughs> that, 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 that's an $8,000 camera. Huh? I'm going to have you arrested for that. I might as well make it work by while and rearrange your face. Hey, man, chill out. It ain't working. It's going to make me feel bad. And it would have been a lot easier if you had just let everyone in the picture. I'm going to make you pay for that. No, no, I'll pay for it. You really don't have to do that. He broke the law. He broke a camera. <laughs> Haven't you done anything about relocating these people? We have a relocation program. Oh, man, there you go again. What's wrong with you? You put them up for a few nights, then they're back in here, and you couldn't care less. What I care about is the law. And these people are There's breaking. There's still people living inside these buildings. Won't you come in and see for yourself? I really wouldn't advise that. No, I don't suppose you would. Won't you come inside? Unless you're afraid of getting your nice suit dirty. Been dirty before. Let's go. I wouldn't go in there. It's not safe. Maybe not for you, but it's sure safer than living in the streets. Don't touch me. White bread. <laughs> Man, I would
wouldn't go in there if they paid me. I think I'm gonna call the cops. There's a phone in the car. It ain't hard to see that people are still in here, Mr. Addington, if you've got a mind to look. The city is tearing down these buildings so that new housing units can be put up. For who? For people who need them. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Falcon. You know even low-income families can't afford what you're building here. And the people here are no-income families. Where does that put them? Welfare will look after them. <sighs> it's all right. Sorry to barge in. Surely, Mr. Clayton, you're not fighting to keep people living in these conditions. No, Mr. Addington, but I do want an alternative. We are all looking for alternatives. Nobody more than me. We try rehabilitating these people. I think it's about time you face us with the facts, Mr. Falcon. Yes. Don't be afraid, Louisa. It's me, Clayton. Senor Clayton. Uh, Louisa. How's the baby? Mi bebe estado muy enfermo, señor. Lo siento. Necesito un médico. Is this possible? Sí, sí, absolutamente. Do we have to move out now? The next move's up to you, Mr. Addington. I know what Mr. Falcon wants to do. We have no place else to go, sir. Vamos a arreglarlo. We'll take care of it. Thank you, sir. Gracias. You see, Mr. Falcon, the homeless people in this city aren't all just alcoholics and bums. They're families with children. Families. We provide shelter for families. Then why are there half a dozen young women trying to raise their children in this building? You've made your point, Mr. Clayton. No, I'm just beginning. Mr. Falcon has not seen those people dying of tuberculosis. In Nobody has to die of tuberculosis. Maybe not where you came from, but in here. Move in your history. On Lone Star Cinema Sunday, Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson star in Starsky and Hutch on Lone Star Cinema Sunday. Moms, are you looking for a complete wholesome school lunch that's convenient too? Try Schneider's Smart Lunch. Each lunch bag contains a chicken fajita, bagel, pizza, or chicken taco, along with crispy rice squares and fruit snacks. Smart Lunch bags also contain sweet and dried fruit and 100% fruit juice from concentrate with added vitamin C. Plus, you can add extra items to the compostable, reusable bag. Feel good giving them Schneider Smart Lunch to help get them through the day. Brand Power, helping you buy better. I bet you've got a few things around the house that aren't working like they should. I'm going to show you how a little CLR can make them work like new again. If your shower dribbles like this, you might think it's a pressure problem. How do you solve it? CLR it. And then let's see. Like I thought, hard water buildup. Now you've got a shower you can get wet in. I'll show you how easily CLR takes the rust off this tub. CLR works like magic, cleaning up all kinds of lime, calcium, and hard water buildup. Let's move on to the kitchen. Coffee pots are the worst culprits for hard water buildup. CLR it. Swish a little through, and it looks like new. CLR's patented formula works fast on lots of appliances like humidifiers and washing machines. Guaranteed or your money back. So before you call the plumber or have a garage sale, CLR it instead. All kinds of dirty, one kind of clean. At participating Canadian Tire, Home Hardware and Building Centers, Real Canadian Superstores, Loblaws, Zeller, Safeway, Shoppers Drug Mart, Co-op Stores, Pro Ace, True Value Hardware, VNS, London Drugs, Home Depot. You don't drive like her, so why are you paying the same insurance premiums as her? If you're over 50 with a good driving record, you could save up to $400 per year on your car insurance through Gray Power.
Because at Gray Power, we believe that if you're over 50 and have a good driving record, you've earned the right to save. You could save up to $400 per year. Insure your car and your home through Gray Power and save even more. I'm nobody important. I'm just you don't drive I'm like her, right. and you shouldn't pay the same insurance premiums as her. If you're over 50 with a good driving record, it's time to reap the rewards. So call now. You could save up to $400 per year. Even if your premiums have dropped recently, you could still save through Gray Power. Call now and get the power of 50 plus. Call 1-866-473-9661 or go to graypower.com. What are you doing? Take it easy. Whoa, man, be cool. Put the gun down. We don't know anything. We ain't seen anything, right? You! What the hell are you looking nothing. at, huh? Nothing! You damn straight you're looking at nothing! Be careful, man. You're handling a deputy mayor. What? Oh, I knew it, man. You brought the damn cops! Man, we didn't bring no cops. There's always cops around these guys. Go ahead, let's go see Bamanos. I get hurt, man. You're gonna be real hurt. <sighs> What the hell's going on here? I think he's having a heart attack. He's turning blue. I can help him if you let me. Go ahead, man. Well, what the hell do I care? Oh. Oh, it's a human life, for God's sake, man! Keep him propped up against the wall. You don't have to kiss him. I don't plan to. You better pray that he pulls out of this. Deputy Mayor Falcon and who? A rich guy named Addington. I just drove him here. And you were taking pictures? Well, obviously. They destroyed my camera. They ruined my suit. Who did? A crazy guy named Clayton and a bunch of wild characters. They took Mr. Addington and Mr. Falcon into that building right there. Whose idea was that? Well, I can tell you, it certainly wasn't Mr. Falcon's, for sure. Ooh, TV. Better call him for some help before downtown starts getting crazy. And get that damn limousine out of here. Yes, uh, over here, over here. Okay, excuse me, sir. Okay, we're ready. Excuse me, sir. 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 I want you to come out of there with the hostages. Before we go on up there. Hostages? Man, what's wrong with these people? You listen up to me, Clayton. We have a chance to stop this thing before it's too late. Let's do what's right to end this situation before it gets out of hand. What do you say, Clayton? Can we be reasonable people about this? We have to come in there. Ain't nobody in their right mind going out there now. But they scared of the cops. I'll go myself. No, no, you ain't going nowhere. You're gonna stay right here until we get a few things settled. I've been trying to draw their attention to the homeless for years. Now they have to act like I've done something wrong. Well, we got Falcon here, you are here, the police here, and the media's here. Hey, let's see what develops. Don't you try to turn this into something that it's not. Let me come on up. We'll have a nice face-to-face. -face. I'll bring you 
bring you a cellular phone and we can talk in a civilized way. What do you say? Okay, Captain, I hear you. This is the last time I'm going to talk to you, Clayton, before we shoot some gas up there. You take one step inside here, Captain, and I can guarantee that your deputy mayor or Mr. Addington are going to make it out of this building safe. Frank, is this okay? Yeah, okay. Billionaire Alexander Addington is being held hostage in this volatile New York neighborhood. Mr. Addington was touring the site when he and Deputy Mayor Joseph Falcon were forced inside by militant activists. Initially... I'll call Peter. Tell him I'll make the ground arrangements. ...buildings were an on-site inspection. <laughs> Hello, Sinclair. Peter, they have Mr. Addington. What? Who has? He's being held hostage. It's on News One. JJ. The militants, led by Alan Clayton, were protesting the demolition of this condemned building. This neighborhood had been designated for total renovation by the Addington International Group under the project name Nova, an extensive innocent... Where's the others? Miss Prema, see what you can get for me on this uh, Alan Clayton. All right. I'll be in touch. Yeah, get me the commissioner's office, please. These are definitely you. Oh, they're just perfect. You could dance all night in them. That's what you said about the first pair, Troy. Well, these are even more perfect. Are they made in Italy? New York. Handmade by an Italian from Milano. He's got gorgeous hands. He was so good, we just imported him here. Oh, really? Yo, Stone, it's JJ. Is Gabriel with you? Um, sort of. She's buying something right now. Why, what's up? Mr. Addington's been taken hostage at the uh, Nova site. Kid is on his way there now. All right. You tell Peter we'll be right there. Gabby. Gabby, come on, we gotta go. No, Stone. Hold on a minute. What do you think of them? They're wonderful. They're fine. Let's go. But you didn't even look at them. Look at them. Yeah, I looked at them. They're, they're, they're nice. Let's go. You know, all my shoes have a life of their own. Do you think this needs an ankle bracelet? What? I want to know if you thought these needed an ankle bracelet. Would you please get out of those shoes? Why? Come on, the boss is in trouble. What, Peter? No, adding. Well, why didn't you say anything to me? Who can talk to you when you're shopping? What about her perfect shoes? You wear them. What's it gonna take to end this? 
You can tell your men to go home, for starters. I can't do that. I have to talk to Deputy Mayor Falcon. I can't do that. If we don't see the Deputy Mayor and Mr. Addington, we're going to have to push our way in there. People on both sides could get hurt. They're OK. How do we know that? Let me see them. All right. Now, how about the deputy mayor? Nobody's been harmed, Captain. OK, you've got what you want, Captain. That was cool, Mr. Addington. If you had said anything else, the police might have felt that they had to storm in here. Well, I certainly don't want to escalate matters. Now, you listen to me. That man may be having more than an angina attack. And unless he gets proper medical attention, he could very well die. And you know damn well that that means every single person here will be charged with homicide. When a child dies because she has no place to live, that's homicide too, Mr. Addington. His death is not going to save the life of a child or help your cause. Well, that's up to the people who rule. That decision isn't up to me. Oh, yes, it is. It damn well is. Right now, Falcon's life, everybody's life, is in your hands. And you know that. Cinema. Live better with your diabetes. Diabetes shouldn't mean losing the freedom to enjoy the things that make you happy. You may experience freedom with the AccuCheck Compact Plus system for all-in-one convenience at home or on the go. All-in-one convenience begins with your drum of 17 preloaded test strips. No more struggling with individual strips. No coding means fewer steps in testing. It's automatic. And no strips to pull out of a vial. They're already in the drum. Plus, you can use the Lansing device attached or detached from the meter. And the Lansing device has been proven least painful Lindsay was first diagnosed with diabetes when she was only eight years old. But with the help of her healthcare team and the use of her AccuCheck products, it has really helped us to control her blood sugars much better. It allows her to live a normal life and to be a normal child and to pursue her dreams of becoming a dancer. In college, I was a competitive runner. And when I was diagnosed with diabetes, I wasn't sure if that's something I could ever do again. And with the products that AccuCheck offers, I'm able to collect that sample and analyze it and act on that so I don't have to worry about what's going on with my blood glucose as I exercise. Live life the way you want. Call or go online now. If you have diabetes, call today and we'll send you a voucher for a free AccuCheck Compact Plus blood glucose monitor and bonus box of SoftClicks lancets. Call right now and ask for your voucher. The first 1,000 customers to redeem their voucher will receive a free gift of their choice, a Magic Foods for Better Blood Sugar book or Frio Insulin Wallet, a value up to $49. It's time to live life the way you want. Call 1-800-752-1624 or go online to accucheck.ca slash free offer now. You're single and tired of not having someone special to share your life with. And the conventional ways of meeting people are so frustrating. Well, here's great news. Life Mates, Canada's largest matchmaking company with thousands of members in your city who are well-educated, successful, and looking for a serious relationship. You get a personal matchmaker who works hard for you while you're at work. 
With over 100,000 successful introductions every year, call LifeMates today to receive your free confidential consultation. Updating the New York hostage situation. A police tactical squad has arrived on the scene where Deputy Mayor Joseph Falcon and billionaire Alexander Addington are being held hostage by militant activists. No, 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 no. We'll call you right back. It's terrible. They only show you what they want. I sent Peter the information on Clayton. He has no history of violence. Yes. What will happen if he panics? There are so many police now and so many guns. Who knows what he can do to Alexander? Mr. Addington. Miss Prevan, let me assure you the police do know how to conduct themselves in these situations. And Mr. Addington can take care of himself. Aren't you worried, Bennett? Yes, Selene, I am. to the streets of the city. While the activists have allowed Mr. Addington to speak briefly with the police... That's good news. ...tension mounts as the police await confirmation that the deputy mayor is unharmed. Look, there's Peter. That's even better news. Yeah, I've been told about you by the mayor's office. Mr. Sinclair, you work for Mr. Addington. I've also been told about your expertise in hostage negotiations. Although this is hardly an international incident, I just want to inform you that I'm the primary negotiator here, and as of now, I'm the only one. What kind of communications do you have with him? Oh, we offered Clayton a phone, but he refused. And how many people are inside? Besides your boss, Falcon, Clayton? I don't know. Are they armed? <laughs> Isn't everyone armed these days? You know, from everything I've read, Clayton is a social activist, not a criminal. Well, I'd have to say, then, that he's just crossed the line. Okay, so what does he want? He wants to help those people, those homeless people in the building. You know, we used to be able to pick them up, give them a place to stay for a few days. But then the bleeding-hearted liberals decided that we contravened their civil rights. Now they got no place to go. Go figure. I've got to keep them talking, no matter what they say. Didn't they teach you that at Scotland Yard, Sinclair? I think you better tell Mr. Addington that I'm here. Clayton! This is Sinclair here. He wants to speak to Mr. Addington. Who's Sinclair? Oh, he's someone I know. He's a good man. Let me talk to him. Not yet. I'll decide who does the talking. Show us the deputy mayor. Everybody wants to know if he's okay. He can't be moved yet. What's wrong with him? He's had an attack. We've given him his nitro. For the moment, he's stable. You're going to have to go in. You want me in? I'm in. What's the deputy mayor's condition? Is he okay? Clayton! I'm going to be sending a doctor up there with a phone, or we're going to come up there and help him ourselves. It's up to you. I don't like to be threatened, Captain. It's not a threat. I'm telling you the options. I don't hear anything about helping all the homeless sick people in here, Captain. You, along with everyone in there, shares the responsibility for the mayor's condition. Let them go, and we'll see that they receive the assistance they need. I've had past experiences with promises, Captain. Makes it hard to trust you. You want to negotiate? Put on Sinclair. He's calling the shots, Sinclair. Don't screw it up. Mr. Clayton. Peter Sinclair. All right, now, don't make a contest of it. 
Up to now, it hasn't been a contest, Addington. We were just a loser. The people in this building have legitimate grievances. Well, tell him that. Mr. Clayton. Mr. Clayton, we don't have a lot of time. Well, go on, talk to him. If you don't, everyone will lose. Okay, Sinclair. You listening good? Yeah, I'm listening. I want an ambulance. Well, there's one already here. Not big enough. I want an ambulance bus. How many other people are hurting there? They're all hurting in here, Sinclair. Well, whoever needs medical attention will be helped. Nobody here's got Blue Cross, Sinclair. Rest assured, Mr. Clayton, nobody will be refused. Maybe not, but these people get the same kind of care as your deputy mayor. Got it? OK, you got your ambulance bus. And send in the phone. I want to speak to these people when they get to the hospital. I'll arrange that, too. And I want to guarantee that none of the people who come out will be prosecuted for what happened. Mr. Clayton, you know I can't control that. I get a guarantee or nobody leaves. Everything depends on how quickly we see the condition of the deputy mayor. And that all depends on how fast you get my people to the hospital. I want to talk to Falcon as soon as the phone gets up there. OK. Send in your paramedics. And they better be just that. No police can come in. You can trust me on that. And I'll bring the phone. OK. But I like it better with you out there. Send in the lady. But not until I see the ambulance getting loaded. Yeah. OK, you got it. buildings through the basements. All these foundation walls seem to have holes in them. You think you can actually get into our building? No problem. Gabrielle, do take it easy and no heroics, OK? What's going on up there? Gabrielle's going in with a phone. Uh, and Stone, please try and keep a low profile. Low profile? <laughs> Listen. I give you a call when I know where I am. Thanks, Anna. We've never been there before. OK, Indiana Jones, you can go go to the party while I go check it out. I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. All right, Maria, you take care now. We're guaranteed us. We're going to look after you. And make sure you ask for a private group. Thank you. 
Lone Star Cinema Tuesday. You're not going to go in there, are you? House of Wax. <laughs> on Lone Star Cinema Tuesday. Tomatoes, you touch. Bread, you squeeze. Watermelons, you tap. Herbs, you smell. Chicken, you read. Maple Leaf Prime Chicken's new Fresh Sure packaging. A revolutionary new pack design that seals in the freshness for a better, fresher tasting chicken. There's a reason we call it Prime. The Wild Wild West, the third season is blasting on DVD. Very timely entrance, too. America's first Secret Service agents are back in television's most imaginative series. There's no doubt about it. Robert Conrad, Ross Martin. The Wild Wild West, the third season, now on DVD. Tylenol arthritis pain provides up to eight hours of pain relief. So arthritis pain won't hold you back. Well, I wanted to quit smoking, but even with willpower, it was tough. Then I talked to my doctor, and now I see quitting in a whole new way. It was my time to quit. Speak to your doctor. It could be your time to quit. I use my new steel building as a workshop and a garage, and I love it. And now you can get the steel building you've always wanted and save big. For a limited time, Future Steel, the world's leader in steel buildings, is selling off selected models at rock-bottom prices. Save $400, $900, $1,600, up to $2,000 on selected models during this limited-time inventory sell-off. Future Steel buildings are perfect for sheds, workshops, and garages. They're easy to assemble with 100% usable interior space and come with a 30-year perforation warranty. And for a limited time, you can get a Future Steel building and save big during their inventory sell-off. Simply call the number on your screen or visit us online for a free brochure and list of sell-off buildings. But don't delay. All buildings are sold on a first-come, first-served basis, and no reasonable offer is refused. You'll love your new Future Steel building. Call the number on your screen or visit us online for a free brochure and list of sell-off buildings. Call right now. Well, you got what you wanted, Clayton. Are you satisfied now? This is not about what I want, Falcon. You've wasted a lot of taxpayers' dollars on this stupid incident. Is that all you can think about, Falcon? That's my job. I'll look after the taxpayers' money. Your job is to look after people. And the poor should be your first priority. Ah, oh, come on. The world is in a sorry state of this is what it takes to get a few dozen needy souls admitted into the hospital wards. We do what we can. I don't think you do. You've put millions into this project. This is a social problem. Until we solve that, we're just chasing our tails. What are the chances of that happening? Oh, ah! Ah! Give me a heart attack! You some kind of zombie man? That's what I am, boy. I've never seen you before. Oh, but I've seen you before. Let me go. What do you want? I want to know where them hostages are, boy. There's a million cops around it. What building they got them hostages in? I ain't taking you there. I'm gonna bite your head off, boy. I'm gonna bite your head off. Okay, okay, I'll take you. Come on, boy. I ain't got much time to tell me where the hostages is. Come on. Ah, I get boy, I'm right behind you. Don't you forget that. Hey, okay, man, wouldn't you crazy? She's had enough time to get out there. Call. 
your fault, man. If it wasn't for you, Ivana, this place is gone. Put your gun down, man. When we all walk out here, ain't nobody gonna notice you. With all those cops out there. <laughs> He's made a deal with the police. Not for me. Nobody knows about you, man. Aren't you gonna answer the phone? I got nobody I want to talk to. Lincoln, pick up the phone. You better. Police will storm this building unless they can talk with Mr. Falcon. That's the deal. Clayton, this is Captain Murphy. Sinclair is trying to call that room. Answer, or we're going to have to come up there. Once they get in, you don't stand a chance. Answer it! Do nothing stupid. Yes. Gabrielle, something wrong? No. You in the room? Yes, Alex is fine. Let me talk to Falcon. They want to talk to Mr. Falcon. Careful. I'll kill you, man. Falcon? Yeah. You all right, sir? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm still tired, but the nitro seems to have done its work. I'm glad to hear that, sir. We'll come and get you soon. But in the meantime, will you tell Clayton that we'll call back in five minutes to make the arrangements? OK, OK, I'll tell him. Tell who what? Tell Clayton that they're going to call back in five minutes. Then they're coming in. They are. Right through there. Hey. All right, kid, take off. Hey. You done good. Thanks, mister. Give me that. OK. I'm getting the hell out of here. And you come with me. Make sure I do. Move it. Don't take her. Cops don't like to shoot pretty girls. I'm the reason the police are here. Take me. I could take him. He's a deputy mayor. Nobody's going to shoot him. What if he dies on you? What are you going to do, carry him? OK, you got it. Come on. Let's go. Anybody tries to follow me, I kill this guy. Got it? I'm sure the cops know that too. Peter? He's taking Alexander. He's got a gun. Who? I don't know, but the guy's crazy. I'm going after them. I'm going in there. Stone, we've got a shooter holding Alexander. We're going in.
us. I'm only interested in you, Sonny. Just a shooter. Yes. Take him. Throw him back here, please. Tough guy. Come on. Look off this wall. Come on, just do that. He's coming downtown with us, Clayton. Um, Captain. Uh, wait. If, uh, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be standing here. Mr. Clayton and I have a few things we'd like to discuss, if that's all right with you. came in together. It'd be nice if we could go out together. Yeah. You ain't bad for an uptown boy. I know you said Roy. <laughs> On Lone Star Cinema, Saturday, Sharon Stone and Michael Douglas star in Basic Instinct. On Lone Star Cinema, Saturday. Moms, are you looking for a complete, wholesome school lunch that's convenient too? Try Schneider's Smart Lunch. Each lunch bag contains a chicken fajita, bagel, pizza, or chicken taco, along with crispy rice squares and fruit snacks. Smart Lunch bags also contain sweet and dried fruit and 100% fruit juice from concentrate with added vitamin C. Plus, you can add extra items to the compostable, reusable bag. Feel good giving them Schneider Smart Lunch to help get them through the day. Grand Power, helping you buy better. I bet you have lots of products to clean your home, but I can show you how you can clean your entire bathroom and kitchen with this yellow bottle, CLR Bath and Kitchen Cleaner. Let's start in the bathroom. How do you take on real problems like soap scum buildup? CLR Bath and Kitchen Cleaner takes it off, no scrubbing or aching muscles. CLR it. You definitely want this yellow bottle. Use it for toilet stains and lots more. Let's move on to the kitchen. Wow, something smells awfully good, but looks awfully messy. The best way to clean it? CLR it. It cuts through messes fast and is safe for just about all surfaces. I'm sure you're used to using lots of products to clean your bathroom and kitchen. With this yellow bottle, all you need is one, guaranteed or your money back. CLR it and make cleaning life's messes a whole lot easier. All kinds of dirty, one kind of clean. At participating Canadian Tire, home hardware and building centers, real Canadian superstores, Loblaws, Zellers, Rona, Safeway, Shoppers Drug Mart, Co-op Stores, Pro Ace, True Value Hardware, VNS, London Drugs, Home Depot. Are you thinking of buying a new bed? Well, here's something important you should know. If you act now, you can own a beautiful Ultramatic Electric adjustable bed for half the price of a luxury flatbed. Compare the features and you'll see how much more you get for half the cost. With the flat bed, adjusting means propping yourself up with pillows, no massage. But with Ultramatic, all the comfort is built in. Fingertip control lets you adjust your bed just the way you want it for reading, watching TV, or a comfortable sleep that helps you wake up refreshed and rested. And all for half the price of a luxury flatbed. So don't wait. Call now for your beautiful free catalog. The lines are open, the bed is beautiful, and the price is right.
Well, you certainly managed to turn a negative situation into a positive one, sir. And to save some lives, including mine. Not to mention Alan Clayton's bacon. Satellite link. Mr. Falcon just called. I trust he found accommodation for those people in that building. I believe he understands the project depends upon our ongoing funding, sir. Good. Now, Miss Previn, I want you to keep an eye on this project. Yes, sir. When can we expect you? In about three hours, ma'am. We'll be waiting. Link out. What happened? Isn't going to make any difference about how people think about the homeless. The story played across the world on live television. That makes a difference. Yeah. Well, I doubt they're going to remember. The way I see it, memory's a matter of convenience. And it ain't convenient for them. Well, the way I saw it, the uh, media played the hostage taking a lot bigger, a lot more than what Mr. Clayton was fighting for. Yeah, but you know there was a lot more going on behind the scenes than you actually saw in the news footage. Well, sure I did, but uh, I had a vested interest. So does the audience. People know how to read between the lines. Spoken with the optimism of a true journalist. There are three articles on the subject in this morning's paper alone. It should have been declared a national emergency years ago, along with earthquakes and floods. You're damn right, sir. I know that now more than ever. Would you have shot him? If Clayton hadn't stepped in? You know the answer to that one, Peter. little that's more important to any of us. And no one knows better than those who don't have one. 